Hi guys, Velarge TCG here, and welcome back to another pack opening. If this is your first time here, please remember to subscribe so you don't miss future pack openings for Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! And today, we have Lightning Overdrive. Finally, my case has arrived, so we're going to be cracking that open today. Hunting for those Starlights, obviously. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do both of these today, but obviously I have plenty of boxes. So uh, we'll start with one and see where we get to here. I'm really excited for the uh, new Amazement archetype. I don't think um, anything else I care about too much, really. And I'll uh, sell those Diviners if I can. But I know this has been opened a lot already, so we'll just kind of try to blow through these packs here. And see what we can get. I just need the Amazement spell and the Amazement monster, and I'll be all set. AI meet you. AI is kind of cool now. Scrap Raptor, don't know why that's a common. And an S Force Edge Razor uh, for the first super rare. So we'll put that over there. S Force, really cool archetype. I like their art, really. I'm not really. I know they like are like a zone deck, kind of like Mech Knights, I think. They want like similar zones and stuff, but um, I don't know too much about them. Okay, here we go. So there's like the Chase Super of the set, the Tri Brigade Bear Brum, the Rampant Rampager. Pretty good card. Wish it didn't say discard too, but uh, still really solid card for that archetype. And then the rest of the commons I'm not going to go through because you'll see them in the front of the pack eventually. Let's see what else here. Orock Generations Boo Boo Game. Some of those cards name in. Got the Garden Rose Flora is our next super. Um, probably like goes with the Garden Rose Maiden, I'm not really sure. Uh, if that's like an actual archetype or if it's just like a extra deck archetype, I think it is. Let's see here, got the Dark Eye Nightmare, Bujin Ken Descents? I don't know, <laughs> I probably butchered that. AI meet you and a Pendran section. God, these card names in this set are difficult. And a new Xyz level four. I think it's just takes two level four monsters. Yeah, it does. I think I read it. It was a uh, maybe decent at best. I don't really remember. I'm sure it won't go into your rank four toolbox. There's all the old crazy cards. ZW Pegasus, Terrors of the Underroot, that's a cool card. Got the Spriggan's Brothers. And our first Ultra Rare, we got the S Force Chase. Um, I think that's um, got IP Mascarena. They just like threw her into the artwork. I thought that was cool. But uh, I don't know, clearly she's like some type of villain in the Yu Gi Oh lore. But uh, that's pretty cool that they added her in there. I know a lot of fans like that. Um, they're doing more stuff with that, making the deck box and the playmat, I think, but... Maze Attraction, the Otter card, yes, I love otters, so I'm gonna try to get like a full binder of this card. Otters are my favorite animal. And a Lina, the Light Charmer Lustrous. Not a Starlight Rare, though, come on. Definitely on the hunt for one of those. It's a whole case, but uh, my one buddy just opened a case and he did not pull a Starlight, and he pulled only one secret rare out of his one of his boxes so that's a that's a big oof Let's see what we got next judgment of the branded the s force dog tag yamamori mori sky scourge Kiddels? i'm not really sure the expendable die that's a pretty neat card for um any warrior ar archetypes like maybe satellar knights or something like that it'd be pretty cool in there Already a trap deck, and their one uh, trap card already draws a card. So got the Starry Night CL. I was really excited for that archetype, but um, I built it, and it just oh yes, we got the um, Amazement Administrator Arcolino or Arlequino. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I, I really wanted to play test that tonight, and uh, one of my friends pulled one. So here's the second one. Hopefully, there's another one in that other box. But uh, yeah, that is really really awesome. I know this archetype is like on the watch right now. Um, it's cards are kind of going up in price, so really, really happy with that, and I don't have to buy the singles, even though you definitely should buy the singles. I'll take that sleeve, thank you. Awesome, awesome pull. I can't wait to see what our other Seeker Rare is. I really hope it's a time ticket, um, because obviously I need three of those as well, and I, I don't see those cards going down in price. Like, like, the art is cool on it, I think, anyway. I used to play Trick Stars, so I like 
uh, kind of like that artwork style, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't think those are going anywhere. We got the branded in white as our next super rare. And should be one more ultra on the side. I think there's three or four packs left, perhaps. Let us see. The Boo Boo Game, the Sun Avalon. That seems like it might be a cool archetype. Oh, there. Speaking of the devil, uh, Sun Avalon and Melius. Looks like uh, they all kind of look like Groot. If you've ever seen Guardians of the Galaxy. But like if he could evolve, if that makes sense. Cool plant archetype. Next pack. Got the Amaze Attraction. Another Otter card. Nice. Love to see it. Another CO. And here's our second Ultra. We got the uh, White Knight of Dogmatica. Um, I don't think this card is worth very much, but it really, really, really looks awesome. So happy to pull the uh, White Knight. And then moving along with the last pack. On the right side of the box. Have the AI challenge you, the Cambro Raster, I think that's how you say that. Another otter card, you love to see it, and an Amazement Family Faces. This card is cool, I might play one of that in my deck, I'm not sure yet. Still um, new, so a lot of testing to be done. And now let's see if the box is mapped, and open the other side. Next pack, we got the Terrors of the Underroot, more Spriggan's Brothers, the Dan Mari New Ignister card, the card's uh, pretty good. And then another uh, new Adagnister, the Dark Infant, which is a very strange name for Yu-Gi-Oh card. I know they do all the censoring and stuff, but Dark Infant? I don't know. Another Denmari, another S-Force Dog Tag, CL, another DDD card. I thought that was a Rocket Monster. That's interesting. And the Amazement Precious Park, so the Field Spell. Um, if you're running pure amazement that like card seems pretty good but you could also just play like other stronger traps with it i don't really know how i feel about it like i said still lots of testing to be done with that so we got the ai meet you yamamori mori i think it's called it's gotta be spriggan's brothers judgment of the branded and our i think this is our last ultra or may, oh no, no no this is our third ultra the uh, zs ascended sage um Awesome card for that uh, Utopia archetype. I think that's going to be really good down the line uh, with the Zodiac cards. Probably just the best Axies deck to ever grace this game. Got the Amazement Special so Show, One Curry Way, War Rock Generations, the ZW Pegasus, and a Lavalval X Lord. Not bad for Super. Okay. Next pack. I know the Lavalval are supposed to be getting new stuff in this set, but I don't know if anything, um, like, I don't, I don't think that's going to help them at all. Got the Stay Sailor, uh, Romarin. I don't know what that card does. It's a plant? That's definitely weird. I don't know why, like, like the Rika, they shouldn't be plants, they're all, like, people. I don't know, whatever. Got the Terrors of the Underroot again, Spriggan's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, Dog Tag, and a Spriggan's Merrymaker. Um, I don't know if any of these commons are short printed. Maybe this one, I know that card's pretty good. Uh, but should be getting close to the next Secret Rare here. Please be a Diviner, or a Fafnir, or a Time Ticket. I'll take any of those. Sky Scourge, Zexil Alliance, Dark Eye Nightmare, and an Eda the Sun Magician. This card's actually kind of cool. Um, I think that might be a good card for like Prediction Princess, even though that, even though that deck has you know never done anything. But I always thought it was a cool deck. I kind of wanted to play with Guru, and um, I don't know. I think that card just looks uh, like it sounds pretty cool. Uh, AI Challenge You, New Paleozoic, DDD Super Sight. Another otter, you love to see it. And the Trap Tricks Kularia, so that's really nice. I'm happy to get this too, because um, you've probably seen, uh, you know, Amazement's probably going to end up be playing with the Trap Tricks or Pure more than likely. It probably needs a little more support and good support at that. Um, but who knows. And it looks like we got our seek, like we're missing a Seeker Rare. Because I, I got the, unless they're not mapped, um, I got 
uh, for the first side, we got the Ultra, then the Secret, then the Ultra. And this side, I got two Ultras with no Secret, so... Um, where is my second Secret Rare? Got the Warwalk, <laughs> War Rock Spirit. That is not a Secret Rare. Uh, could this be a bad box? There's three packs left. I'm kind of getting worried. Or, two other options. It's just at the bottom. Or three, could be a Starlight Rare in here, which would be insane. The One Curry Way, Dark Eye Nightmare, and a Ruddy Rose Witch. Say that ten times fast. Two packs left. Don't do this to me, Konami. Don't do this to me, please. I will be sad. Spriggan's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, Scrap Raptor, Sun Avalon Daphne. Oh, okay. <laughs> the uh, the Bangalancer, the Resurgent. It's a really cool looking card, but it's not worth very much, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, there he is, big tree guy. Like I said, he's kind of like... I mean, I don't know if that's even part of their archetype, but it looks like it. And um, What's it called? What's this? Yeah, it just uh, seems pretty good, but just not very expensive, like I said. So last pack, very sad day. I really thought that there was a chance of a starlight in there, but... Man, still got five more boxes to go, so stick around, we might still pull one, you never know. And we got the Supreme Sovereign Serpent. And uh, that is it for this box. Uh, take another look at the secrets here, they're pretty good. Uh, really happy with this, not so happy with this, but like I said, it's still a cool card. And uh, can't complain because I got the Arlequino. So uh, that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And... Uh, Stay tuned for the next video. Ne next uh, Lightning Overdrive box opening is going to be coming out uh, this Friday, so in two days. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.